Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at the different map types and the Google Street View function that are available within Photo Transit. We're picking up where we last left off at uh, Bamburgh in the UK, but for this tutorial I'm going to look for a different location. We're going to look for Lookout Road in Colorado. I type that in, I click search, it finds it. So let's start off by looking at the five different map types that are available within the app. These are uh, accessed via buttons here on the right of the map. First we have Google Standard map type, then Hybrid, which is a combination of satellite plus the road labels, Terrain View, which is very good for mountainous terrain, and then finally the last two, MapQuest Open Street Map, which is a, a normal street map, and open cycle map topographic. Both of those, those last two, are available offline, which means anything that you view within the app is automatically downloaded and stored uh, for a period of up to 12 months and is accessible automatically even if you have no data reception uh, on your device. So the, the data will build up depending on the, the tiles that you look at. As I pan around, it, it, you can see it loading the map tiles there. Those are saved automatically. If you want to clear those out at any point in time, you can come up here to Settings, scroll down to the very bottom, and just click Clear Offline Data, and that will delete all of the offline map tiles. So a quick recap, uh, we have Standard Hybrid Terrain. Those are available only when the device is online, i.e. that it has internet access. Uh, open street map and open cycle map topographic both of those are automatically available offline anything you view is available offline so let's switch back now to terrain view I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you'll see that here we're right next to the the Rocky Mountains and to zoom out just a little bit more and what I'm going to do is pick up the subject pin and drop it on the summit of Mount Audubon here to the west now, one of the things you can do with this app is use Google Street View, and that is this button here. Now, you'll see at the moment it has an a unavailable symbol superimposed on top of it, and that's because our camera is not actually at a position where there is a Google Street View camera uh, image available. But I can fix that very easily, just pick up the pin, fine-tune it, drop it back on the road, and there you'll see that the camera for Street View has now become available. If I click that, it brings up the Google Street View for the camera location, looking directly at your subject location, and moreover, it's, uh, it sets the field of view in the horizontal plane equal to the effective field of view of your selected camera and lens. And you can vary that. If you have a zoom lens selected, you can basically simulate control of the Google Street View camera sliding back and forth like that. Um, and horizontally, the field of view that you're seeing there is the same field of view that you would get with your camera. I can do it the other way as well. If I pinch and zoom on Street View, you'll see that it updates the zoom level of the camera when I let go. I'll zoom in again, and now we're at 30 millimeters. So that's Google Street View. Let me just move the camera a little bit further down so you can see another view and you'll see how this lets you explore different vantage points for at least ca shooting locations where Google Street View is available. So I'll zoom in there and you'll see that now we've come over the brow of the hill and you've got a better view of the, the mountains there. One of the other things that you can do is if you pan here, let's say we want to see is there a view available to the north there perhaps. When I come out of Street View you'll see that the subject pin has moved to correspond to the direction that we caused the Google Street View camera to point in. And the distance from camera to subject is kept constant, but the the bearing or the heading that you're pointing the camera uh, is updated to match what you did in, in Google Street View. So that's just a nice way to explore different views that may be available to you and to get a sense for what lens and what zoom level on the camera that you might want to use to plan a shot. That's it for this episode. Hope you found it useful and hope you enjoy using the app.